Hi friends, welcome back. So today we're talking about something. I don't really want to talk about it, but we're here because I spent an absurd amount of money and I want to share it with you. So either you do or you don't, but if I can be of any help to you, I'm glad, happy to do it. So in my last video, I talked about buying a pair of Golden Goose knockoffs from Steve Madden, which in theory was a great idea, but I wore them once. Not such a great idea. They were not very comfortable for me personally. So they weren't just, they weren't very comfortable, which, you know, obviously. And I didn't wear them like an all day thing. I maybe wore them for a few hours and that was it. At first they seemed fine, but then walking on asphalt for not even maybe an hour, it's just, it's just not it. So these are them. And I'm just going to say it. These are golden gooses. Uh, this colorway spoke to me and I had to have them. I had to have them. Um, I don't know if any of you would remember, but Diesel came out with these tennis shoes years and years ago and my mom would buy them for me as a kid. They were like a hundred bucks a pair and I felt so special. They were like leather and I had a blue and a purple one and an orange and a pink one and I loved them. And that's what these kind of reminded me of. Like I I don't know, it was like almost nostalgic. Like I had to have them no matter what. I know they're not diesel tennis shoes, but if I can find a picture of old school diesel shoes and you know what I'm talking about, comment down below because we are gonna be friends and great friends. So, but that's what these reminded me of and that's really why I bit the bullet. I gotta be honest, this colorway was just beautiful. I loved it, I had to have it. Here we are, do I have buyer's remorse? At first I did a little, I'm not gonna lie to you. But then, but then. Things changed. There was a shift in the air. And here we are. Um, so let me let me break this down. So these are the Steve Madden ones I bought. These ain't it. Gotta be honest. I saw someone talking about them months and months ago on Instagram. And I was like, mm, okay, I'll try. I tried getting them. I couldn't. They were sold out everywhere. And they were like 60 bucks. And I was like, mm, it's one thing to spend $200 on a pair of Adidas that are going to be comfortable and whatever. But I don't know, knockoff shoes I just wasn't willing to spend 60 bucks on. I don't know. Welcome to my brain. I don't, I don't understand either. But I didn't want to. But then I found them on clearance at an additional off Dillard sale. And if you don't know what that is, I have a few hauls and stuff. And I can kind of go in more into detail. Um, so I'll be sure to link that playlist down below. But I got these in the last haul. I'll be, able, I'll be sure to link that one too. So I got them for like 30 some bucks if I remember right. So I was like, okay, 30 bucks. I can I can splurge for a pair of shoes. They are Steve Madden. I don't know if you can see. Uh, they do have a distressed look. And I mean, I have worn them. So they are a little more distressed. But, you know, they come distressed. Maybe not quite this distressed, but you get it. Um, they're the most uncomfortable sneakers in the world. Period. So uh, that's enough about those. They're horrible. I do not recommend. And that leads me to these beauties. These... Beauties of Golden Goose. I'd say this is pretty true to color. It is a more pastel vibe. This is like a creamsicle orange, but like a pastel-y, not too cream, not too bright and like in your face. Uh, the back is pink where it says Golden Goose and it has like the little emblem. They are distressed, you can see. Um, pink uh, toe and tongue with a blue label, light blue label. And then it's got like a dusty blue colored star. Distressed, very cute. I have to tell you though, um, they do not run true to size. I ordered a true to size nine because that's what I am. I've always been a nine and or sometimes I'll size up to a nine and a half to get a more get a little more wiggle room. I did I looked at a few places. I didn't spend a ton of time because I saw this colorway and I had to have it before it went away forever. So I did a little research and everybody was like, yeah, true to size, true to size in a couple of the reviews. So I was like, okay, true to size, I'll order a 39. I ordered a 39, I have them here too, they're going back. Um, the 39's just, my toe was all the way at the base and there was just, if I wore one thicker pair of socks, I, it wouldn't have worked. It, you know, it, you know, but so I ordered up, I ordered up the next, I ordered the next size up, which is a 40 or a 10. Um, so if you're coming here for sizing guide, I would say size up because I, for me personally, unless you like your shoes tight, um, they, I liked a little bit of wiggle room. They don't do half sizes, not in this style at least, which this style just is beautiful. 
I mean, I've seen all the other styles and yeah, they're great, but these, these, these are just nostalgic and I love them so much. So that's why I bought them. I was hoping I would hate them to be honest because I, I, I just, I did. I thought, I thought that I would hate, I wanted to hate them because I didn't want to keep them. I wanted to send them back and say, oh, I tried it. Now let's move on. Um, so that's, that's, that's the tea. A couple of things I want to mention. So these are the tens. They're in perfect condition. I love them. They're super comfortable. These shoes are more, so this is just kind of like a comprehensive review of what I found out with just owning a pair for, I don't know, a day. So I haven't worn them out and about yet. I've just kind of walked around my house a little bit in them. The soles are hard, which as a Birkenstock lover, I like. I like hard soles. I have issues with plantar fasciitis and stuff. So I like a hard sole, but if you don't and you want something more cushiony, you can get that. These soles come, come completely out. It's very cool. Let me show you, I can take it out. So I'm taking the sole out right now. This is the sole that it comes with. So it's very flat down here, but you've got like a heel. This is like an inch of, of height, man. So this, you can, they're like down to the bone here. So this is where you're getting your height at. So if you don't like these soles, you can very easily replace them. I really like that. So if they wear out, you can put your own soles in. Like that's very cool. So love that actually, like you can go get your, some Dr. Scholl's or whatever and throw them in here. Um, now the question is, how do I put them back in? <laughs> okay, okay, back in, good to go, good as new. So but from just walking around a little bit in my house, I really like them. I thought they were comfortable. I mean, I can't speak to them yet. I'll leave it in the description box. Um, I'll probably wear these today because spoiler alert, I'm keeping them. I love them. But let me tell you, I wasn't going to the first 10 minutes. I threw on the first pair of socks I could find and they were just regular old, not old. I mean, they weren't regular, but you know, they come up. They're normal ankle socks. You could see them. These are like low tops. That's what they're called. And they didn't look good. You have to wear no-show socks with these in my opinion. I mean, maybe it was just, I was wearing gray and lime green socks. It ain't the look with this. So maybe if you wore white ones, it would look fine, but no-show socks are the way to go with these. Um, it changed the whole look and it it changed my mind as, as to whether or not they're going back. So they're staying here. This is their forever home. So as you can see, really nice sneaker, 100% leather, you know, as it should be, you know? But I just wanna, I wanna point something out. So these are the tens, these are the ones I'm keeping. So as you can see the seams here, like that meet the sole from the leather, they look good. I would say quality and control. And something I noticed in the nines, which I'm pulling out right now, uh, was a little concerning to me. I was just like, I mean, they didn't fit and this is not why they're going back. I would have kept them if they fit, but let me see. See, this is one of the nines, which it looks fine right here, but one of the seams of the wrap around the, the, the almost sole of the shoe, I don't really know. Come for, don't come for me because I don't know shoe anatomy. I don't know, when you're spending this kind of money on shoes, I mean, I'm nitpicking here. I'm like really nitpicking. There's like this little gap and I feel like eventually dirt and stuff would get in there. Can you see that? That little gap right there and it would start peeling apart. And when you buy, when you invest in a pair of shoes like this, you want them to last. You know, you, you should be getting what you're paying for. And that, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'm like nitpicking, like, like if these fit, I, they would be, they would, they would have a home here. Um, I don't know if the distressing's identical here. Are these, these are opposite shoes. Well, anyway, oh, okay. Man down, man down. Um, so that's just something I noticed when you're, pay like I said, when you're paying, an absurd amount of money for shoes, you want them to, you know, look and have a really good quality control kind of thing. So that's, that's, that's how I feel about these. I love them. They're pretty much identical in distressing too, I'd say. Are these the 40s or the 39s? So these are the same shoe. They're slightly different and distressing. I would say the 40s are actually mm, maybe a little more distressed, which I'm fine with, whatever. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of Golden Goose. 
But these are the 40s, and then these are the 39s. Um, what's the... It, 40s, 39s, so that's the difference. I would say they're pretty identical. Um, those are the 40s. So with your, you get a standard kind of shoe box. Here, I'll show these. Um, you get like a little authenticity card. I got these from Nordstrom, by the way. Um, you get a dust bag. Guys, this is the first pair of shoes I've ever bought that has a dust bag. Hello guys, Mr. Self here. Let's just say the Golden Goose purchase did not work out for me. I wore them for more than just a few minutes and they were actually so uncomfortable. I wanted to jump on here and say, I'm editing this video right now, that they just weren't for me and for the price tag, I needed them to be perfect. And they weren't. They're beautiful, I love them, but they just... They just weren't it. So, everything I said, they're beautiful. They're really good quality. Maybe down the line? I don't know. No, I, I can't see myself purchasing another pair. Um, maybe there will be, Diesel will come out with their um, old nostalgic shoes that I want them to be. But, sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't be more help, but if you do take anything from this video, do take that uh, you need to size up. And I don't know what the, what was. I just feel like my heat, like my heel, my ankles were unstable in them. And in tennis shoes, I'm just like, uh, it's a little strange. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing, or that's what I'm saying about it. And maybe, I mean, I already returned them. I returned them. Full, full disclosure, uh, both sizes were returned, which is kind of breaks my heart deep down, but it is what it is, and we're, it is what it is. And maybe if you put your own soles in, because it was like you're wearing a little heel almost, and then your foot kind of sat high in the shoe. I don't know. It was weird. Um, so that's what I think. I'm sorry that this whole video is like, oh, yes, 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 I love them, and then I'm up here telling you I return them. For the price tag, I just don't think they're worth it. For me, personally, they, it was, like, weird how unstable I felt in them. You know what I mean? Like, they're tennis shoes. I should feel grounded. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe and do all the things. Okay, bye. I really like them and I'm gonna keep them and don't judge me but if you have a pair tell me which ones you have because I'm really curious because I'm like oh I need a neutral shoe and then I come and buy a pastel shoe but aren't these beautiful like they're actually beautiful like if you know the diesel ones tell me and I'm not alone in this that you had them or you wanted them and shout out to my mom for buying them for me when I was a kid because I love them with like my whole heart and that's what these remind me of. So it's like almost nostalgic. It is nostalgic. I don't know why. They don't make, Diesel's diesels don't make shoes like that anymore. And it kind of breaks my heart because if they did, I would buy them and I would wear them because when I wore those shoes to school, oh my God, did I feel cool. This is slowly becoming like a nostalgic video, which it kind of is because that's what these remind me of and I love them so much. And that's really it. So point blank, I'm keeping the shoes. I love the shoes. Uh, no show socks in my opinion are a must with these um, size up if you take anything from this video when you're looking and buying um, it's this is kind of gonna be like an all-around guide I would say uh, all-around first impression what you need to know before buying um, they are distressed and if that's not your vibe golden goose ain't for you which I think most people know already um, so size up I am normally a nine I would say and I size up to eight 10 because half sizes aren't a thing with golden goose at least in this style they're really cute um i haven't worn them out yet but like i said i'll let you know in the description box of how i love them i'll wear them right now because that phone call was bidding me out of my house today which i was not expecting but you know it is what it is duty calls um so that's really it i love them so much what do you think? Do you hate them? Do you love them? Do they look like bowling shoes? I mean, you won't hurt my feelings. But let me know what you think of Golden Gooses. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you want a pair? Are you waiting to bite the bullet? Because if you are, 
I can't say do it. It's really what kind of, I would say what your daily lifestyle is really what it boils down to. So let me know what you think. Do you like these? Do you like another pair? I would love to know. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like. We love trying out some things around here. I know I've said it before in other videos, but subscribe if you like these kind of thing. I have some cool videos. I just went to the eye doctor, which I know is random, but if you wear glasses, I'm trying out this website. I'm not gonna tell you which one yet, but I ordered a bunch of glasses from there that are very inexpensive and I'm super excited um, to show you guys that. Like I'm very, very excited for this order to come in. So hopefully it'll hurry and it'll be here within the time frame it predicted which is gonna be a while but I'm so excited for it and I just kind of want to plug my next video idea so anyway but if you're new here hit the subscribe give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video